afternoon everybody welcome back to another video from northwest overlander it's been a while uh, i know uh, but a lot of things have changed and i thought today would be a good video or good time to go through all the changes that we've made so far uh, on the little chimney behind me uh, one of the things that we've uh, added to the car is the rooftop tent um, so some would say well, quite a few of you might have say is it not a little bit too heavy heavy for the chimney it's not too bad you don't notice it too much on the road um, unless you're on windy bendy roads um, sits quite far on the back um, and it folds out across the back of the door as well so gives you a little bit of cover uh, when the back door is open I've moved the roof rack slightly forward and I'll show you shortly um, just so that we can fit two wood boxes uh, and I store all my camping gear um, all the cooking and utensils all the kitchen gubbins in one box and all insides uh, all my um, other bits of tent stuff uh, in the other box or clothes whatever I need to uh, we haven't decided what we're doing with the, the other box I've also got rid of the Sungaway awning that I purchased at the start of the build that's now gone because I barely used it so I decided to uh, get rid of that reduce a bit of weight and just have a fixed bracket and it's actually worked out quite well actually because uh, the awning actually sits a little bit higher uh, and with me with I being about five foot ten five foot eleven it's a little bit higher so I don't, I'm not having to bend down all the time so that uh, another bonus and it reduces a bit of weight as well with the roof, rooftop tent on rooftop tent won't stay on the vehicle all the time um, I'll probably take it off we're in mid-september now um, I'll probably leave it till November then it'll come off and then it won't go back on till March April time so another added feature uh, we've moved the CB aerial uh, we've moved that to the front just because the tent overhangs the roof rack um, and for me to have access to the tent I've had to move the aerial to the front so we've done that we've moved the roof rack all the way um, in front of the aerial so the aerial does stick out a little bit but not too much uh, and the tent folds out backwards uh, you've got the extension bit as well so the cover is actually Helly Moon. I did replace that. Um, the old tent, it's actually a Hannibal. It's the old South African company. They closed down, I think, before COVID or just in between COVID. Um, correct me if I'm not. Um, the cover was pretty rotted, uh, needed replacing. And the Helly Moon is pretty identical to the Hannibal. So um, this is a 1.2 meter um, tent with the extension bit so the ladder is underneath the cover which is what I wanted so that's the tent the if you've seen other videos that I've done the Jimny runs a two inch OME um, old man emu suspension lift with a 10 mil spacer with the added weight of the tent a little bit it has been sagging a little bit at the back especially when we've got the dog there's two of us in the car the drawer the fridge uh, all the clothes, everything. So the chimney isn't designed for a lot of weight. But but um, it ha uh, I have decided to put a 25 mil spacer just to uh, level it off. Um, that's a only a temporary measure till the tank comes off. The spacer will go off and I'll put the 10 mil back in. Next year, I may just take the spring completely out and put heavy duty spring in. Um, looking at some springs that cover two to 400 kilos, uh, that might um, fix the issue of the sagging with the weight longer term. But uh, put your comments down below what you think, what I might do. Uh, I might just take the tent out, the tent off completely and pull it back on the trailer, but we'll see. So behind in the back of the trailer, you can see Bella in the back. Um, not a lot has changed. The drawer is still in. The inverter 
um, it's actually been moved from from where it usually sits in the back uh, of uh, the back the back of the passenger seat sorry I've now moved it to the side and it's tucked in at the side I can still fit in two camping chairs those are pretty amazing the camping chairs as you can see those are the size of the camping chairs probably the, the width of the drawer and um, nice and light they only weigh a couple of kilos uh, and they take a matter of a minute or so to to set up um, so apart from that nothing's really changed the fridge still goes in there and I can still fit two wolf boxes if needs be so I may get another two more boxes just for storage um, so that's at the back I will carry on keeping the dog crate in because it's handy to put in some solar panels which I'm testing at the moment which a good friend of mine Mark um, he's let me uh, test them out for uh, charging the batteries and um, a little table as well which I put on top so it's handy just to keep stuff on top of there with the, tre uh, the tent um, it just sits just above the actual roof rack and if you've seen there I have put some wooden blocks on just to raise it on top but it sits quite nice I just duck a little bit when the tent is over but you've probably seen in other videos uh, how it's been set up anyway I do have the cover that goes underneath the tent as well and um, may test that out this next weekend as we're off on another trip which I will do some filming so apart from that not much else has changed you can see um, it sits pretty level now with the actual spacer which is good um, I've also changed the rail uh, to black uh, the old one was silver and it had quite a few holes in so that needed changing the old round spotlights have now changed and you can see I've also included some um, daytime running lights and indicators they look pretty cool apart from that not much else has changed on the vehicle um, a few little things have been added inside but apart from that um, it looks as normal as it was before um, so yeah little Bella in the car ready for a walk <laughs> so yeah that kind of sums up the changes I probably will might go into more detail if uh, anybody asks um, I'll probably do a, a proper video on actually showing you around the tent uh, what I've done to the tent as well there's always some cosmetic um, bits that needed to be done uh, I had to put a new cover on as you can see which was pretty straightforward um, I'm going to get a new mattress cover for that tent as well I ended up waterproofing it as well and I might waterproof it again uh, before November um, the awning as you can see here it's now on it now sits a little bit higher it used to sit by the rail here and if that'll stay no um, so it's on two L brackets and they just clip on and those are from um, Black Dog UK I think uh, and they, they sell a lot of um, brackets for the front runner as well so there you have it that's everything that's been done we're off uh, to see a few good friends of mine up in Newcastle so we're going to go around there so um, stay tuned uh, you'll probably see a few more videos and photos go on social media later on in the week so guys thanks very much for watching um, if you've got any questions or you'd like to see more of certain things give us a shout put a comment down and I will do a few more videos hopefully in the next couple of weeks and um, we'll catch you in the next video Thanks guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you very soon. See you later.